Hello everyone, my name is Tromat and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to carry a Stilia on mid lane. Now before we start, I really want to go over some things I want to play. I'm playing this game with exhausts because I really want to do those WQ combos to kill targets. And since we're against Kalista and Cassiopeia, we're gonna need even Renekton with Ignite. You kind of need exhausts to survive these things. I started to play now with exhausts sometimes and I feel it's very strong. Obviously you can play with whatever you want. You can just try it in some normal, see how it works. It's very useful for the combo and if you get fed you will usually need it to actually not get killed in 1 versus 1 against their strongest opponent. You can basically 1 versus 1 anyone that is fed if you are fed if you have exhaust. Uh, that's the logic behind it, but you can play with Ignite, you can play Heal Barrier, it's okay, anything is okay really. Now, here you can see the runes, I'm playing with Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind and Cup the Grace runes, stats, I'm going for Magic Resist since I'm against a Cassiopeia in mid lane. Pretty difficult matchup, such as Syndra, Cassiopeia, even Ahri, those can be difficult matchups if you want to kill the target, but if you don't want to kill the target, you can actually force some team fights, some roams, and it's gonna be fine. I'm also playing with uh, Doran Ring, I'm going for Ludens, I'm going for uh, Rabadons, Sork Shoes, Zonia, some Vision Words and so on. This build actually allows me to carry since I am going secondary for Rabadons and because of the excess gold that I have, um, basically I can uh, deal insane amount of damage on one and do one shots. So we're interested in doing those one shots and we're interested in clearing words, in cre creating some vision spaces where we see and they don't see and we can trap them and do a full WQ combo. Now, to not make you uh, bored, uh, that sounds wrong in English, I will actually speed up when it's uh, irrelevant, you're going to see me farming for the first part of the game. It's not that important but I don't want to cancel it, so I don't want to do transitions, since I believe even the early game uh, like this can show how I position and show can show how I actually miss CS. You're going to notice that I miss some CS. I'm a bit rusty, but it doesn't matter uh, because we're actually focusing on the kill part. And later on, you're going to see that I'm going to get a bunch of kills, which, which we will carry with eventually. There is also Spiky Baron, Cheesy Baron. I don't even know how to call it. Call it. So basically, in this matchup or in any matchup that you cannot really WQ combo uh, easily, uh, you should play with exhaust. Now I'm going for exhaust because I know Cassiopeia has phase rush, or I imply that she has phase rush. So in these matchups, that's why I play with exhaust. So that that snake is not that fast every time I'm trying to do a combo. Maybe I try to. Maybe I get a combo, maybe it works, maybe not, and also I need to defend myself against large burst damage that can come from either Cassiopeia, Zolt, or Renekton stun with Ignite, he has those things. That was a good guess as I did not know that he was going for the Ignite, but it's pretty obvious that he can, because he's against a top laner that he can kill in quite easily because Kyle is useless as we all know in the first part of the game. And uh, I don't know why I was pressing tab there, but you can see now I'm trying to position myself so I don't get queued too often. Sometimes you're going to get queued in the face, sometimes you can try a WQ combo, but good mid laners will actually know to keep distance and to predict it. And after you miss the W, when it's pretty much obvious that you're going to throw it, they will come and do QE, poke and stuff like that. And you also have to pay attention to their jungler, so I try to position myself in the side of the lane, which maybe there is no Kiana. As we've seen her already on bot lane, as far as I recall on the word. Uh, and now we also see her now. Uh, we can actually play around the side of the map that we know she is not. And here I'm going to miss a Q. As you can see, it's pretty difficult to deal with a Cassiopeia, and especially if she has Ignite. Now, this one doesn't. She has Teleport, and she will outfarm me because of it. But she's not winning the game if she does not use it to Teleport bot, and uh, if she's using just to farm, then she should be able to create such a large advantage that actually I am um, going to lose a lot of gold in CS, but mainly that Teleport should be used when I actually ult bot, and she will do a gank with Teleport, but she will later on get just one kill which it's quite a big investment for a teleport as my bot lane will also kill their uh, ADC so it's one for one or something like that and she fails. So if you play with teleport be sure to use it right. I mean it's okay to return to lane but against the Talia 
you mainly want to use that teleport to actually be able to counter Talia's roaming or Twisted Fate or Aurelion Soul or stuff like that. And as I told you, the early game wasn't too fruitful, wasn't really interesting at all because there is really no way to actually kill someone if you just want to passive farm. I mean, if he wants to AFK farm, then he will let you push or will just keep around the mid lane and will not position himself as such so that he is easily ganked. Now, there is a Hecarim and there is a Talia. The only way we get the kill is if we actually exhaust and Hecarim jumps. Uh, on her and she doesn't flash in time now there is a fight around here and we notice we notice right here that Cassiopeia is uh, fighting them and that uh, I'm going for uh, and that I'm going for the Kiana she flashed here but uh, because because we're actually interested in uh, Kiana right here we could not kill Cassiopeia and also we weren't positioned at all to actually get a kill on Cassiopeia there and I could not do much really because if I would go there they would probably just murder me uh, I'm going to get this blue now and I actually try to see something that's coming up on bot but it's irrelevant because they will back off immediately because there is a word that well trash tried to create something and now I put a vision word there and also uh, because she flashed, she now has no ability to escape, we try to chase her around this way. I realize that I missed my W and then I'm going the other way. Uh, there is no way uh, she would have escaped. I had flash, but I did not meant to rush. A lot of people would rush flash here and that's a major mistake, guys. Do not do that. So as you can see here, we're already 2-0. We got a lot of gold already on our plate, even though uh, we're not that ahead in CS. We're, we're not ahead in CS, we're 5 CS behind, but we get also a plate, so we increase this gold uh, difference. So now we see Kiana here, and I'm going straight for her. I knew there, she might, there might be an opportunity for her to gank, that was a bad word. And uh, as you can see, my team is kind of hinting around. And now I'm actually going bot as fast as I can. And here, I don't force anything, I don't flash to try to go for the Kalisa, I play as slow as I can, and here I get a little sabotage by that lantern, I don't see the point of it, it just made me click it, but as, I, as you've seen me right here, I did not flash on Kalista. I did not try to rush, I had no ult, so I just tried to play slow, Blitzcrank flashed on me, he could have flashed away, then things would have changed if he flashed away. And here I know about that vision word, but then again, there are a lot of CS under tower, so it's better to take that vision word another time. And as you've seen, I don't really want to force my flash, as I know I have a bounty on my head. And basically, you should uh, use the flash only if you had a kill on Kalista there, as, I, as the fight was going on there. Uh, I believe it was a hard thing to overcommit for that Kalista and maybe I would have failed. So instead of risking and dying I played the safe part and got the easy kill on Blitzcrank as he flashed on me. And as you can see, they are a thousand gold ahead. I'm the only one in this team that actually tries to do something with the kills he got. Now my ADC got assists, the assists that were uh, generated from my kills. and. Uh, that's not necessarily optimal, but if you believe you can carry, then you should focus on that. Now, we tried to gank their Cassiopeia and we failed. So, another recall you can see my itemization here. Uh, I am having 300 now, and I'll probably get dive soon if I recall correctly and die. Uh, but that will be shortly after Blitzcrank ganks. <laughs> so. Focusing now on controlling the map, trying to get these words down here. As you can see, that one, that's my vision word. Or, no, that's trash. And now we find an opportunity for an easy, easy, easy gank bot. And now we actually made the score quite similar. But I want I want to go back a bit because I want to see you the... I want to show you the thought pattern. Now, what do I do here? Okay, WQ combo, clear the wave as fast as I can. I see that she's not really trying, not really rushing to push. Also, I have everything up, as you can see here. And they are also, look look at the moment she actually ulted. Now, this was the decision-making process. Uh, the moment I've seen, I did not necessarily intend, okay, to gank here. 
this was just thinking maybe I could gangbo, maybe I go this way, maybe there could be something happening because uh, they were pushing and uh, this they seem very desperate to get kills and they are also having a major advantage right here as you can see because the kills are on Kalista. And the moment I notice Kalista ulting, I think that it's about 70 to 80 percent chance that she will actually throw it and they'll try to fight and exactly that's exactly what's happening and they might even get a kill here but if i wouldn't be here we, it's not certain what would have happened but because i came here and did this perfect e killed instantly Kalista before she had time to actually kill uh our phileas i don't even know that's that's that name i find it hilarious though that i have frame drops even in this tool maybe from a phileas okay another vision word clear right here and i'm just pushing now i'm trying to i tried to get here a w eq combo on her as you can see i haven't used my exhaust should i've used the exhaust there to nullify the damage of kalista okay so don't do this risk because if kalista got to kill there it wouldn't have been worth for me to go there because she kind of succeeded what she tried and now we're actually trying to go to get that Renekton that's ha that has 3-0-0 and we actually tried to get that kill so we got the kill Hecarim didn't get the kill I'm not sure if that was a good thing because he hesitated there he could have gotten the kill he probably wanted me to get the kill that was his thought process I, I believe uh, he probably placed his fate in me and it's arguable who should take that kill probably Kyle shouldn't take that kill since I believe she still has time to scale she should take her time to scale and not to get kills because the ones that are keeping the game alive is either Aphelios me or Hecarim and we can notice that they are fighting again so uh, I tried to position myself clearly and uh, in that area so I have always I have both lanes in mind I, I see their their Renekton I see their uh, Kalista both of them are the strong ones and now I'm trying to create uh, an opening to that uh, Cassiopeia. You're going to notice now that besides the fact that Aphelios is winning, because Cassiopeia teleported here, this is the moment that I talked about before, uh, it's okay. Aphelios dying is not a problem. There is a teleport at and they got a kill. It was totally worth it from uh, the teleport perspective and I cannot follow that. But what I want to talk about uh, is uh, the fact that now you're going to see Cassiopeia start scaling and getting kills and you're going to notice that Renekton and Kalista aren't that strong right now and they are dropping in uh, they are dropping in power levels as I might add so their Cassiopeia you're going to see that she has farm she is the first uh, at farm as I am in our respective teams but she's the one that you're, she's going to try to actually carry so your exhaust priority must go on those targets if Renekton is fed use exhaust on Renekton if Kalista is fed use exhaust on Kalista and also if you have a crucial W combo on Kalista or Cassiopeia or even Renekton and you can create a 4 versus 5 then by all means do it now they are also doing more fights here and as you can see uh, we are still winning the 2 versus 2 and I am following here a bit late that's clear that was my mistake uh, that was most probably because also I was kind of sure that there, were going, there was going to be a problem uh, with her but as you can notice here we aren't doing bad at all uh, but here this is the moment where Cassiopeia's power, real power, starts to shine. Uh, I have nothing now, I may be misplayed, but you can notice she turned this fight around. This is the moment where she's 5-1, I'm 6-1, but she got the gold from me. Okay, so she got a lot of gold here in this context, but they will not have damage to actually kill this Inferno, you're going to notice soon. This is a fight that continues because of this great teleport by Kyle. And again, we're keeping the brawl up, we're keeping uh, the fight up. We keep uh, fighting, sorry, and uh, I'm going to let the fight talk for itself. Uh, we caught Kalista there, and it will be a while till I come, but generally we are doing fine now at this point. And they are actually killing this Blitzcrank as well. And we can see the Kalista there, 
I'm actually going to follow on it so you can see Kalista here and what I do it's a bit risky this is an interesting trick to do I actually full word it knowing that there might be Cassiopeia coming and I actually took my time to take this wave away from tower uh, and here uh, we kind of <laughs> did a lot of bad stuff but it was exactly uh, it was a well-timed moment okay so uh, there could have been a lot of bad things that happened so we forced this a lot and I do not recommend by any means to do this and I really hope this guy doesn't die here because I don't remember if he lived also this what did happen here so we had the word here we had the word here and we had this vision we had full fully cleared the zone now by my calculations if she used this trinket she might go for this and I know, I know that she's seen me here, and she probably wanted to jump the wall, but she didn't have time to react really. Uh, m better players would probably play that better, like jumping on me instantly, because I had no idea that this was worth it. That was the mistake on my part. Now, a good Kiana maybe would have killed me. Why do I have frame drops? What is this game doing? You see this? It's annoying. I have nothing else open in background and I have on lowest settings anyway that's not important you can see my itemization here by the way I'm going for Rapidons after Sorg Shoes I'm trying to get those sweet one shots and here we start having some problems not because that I escaped that but I cannot escape that flashing Renekton and I don't know how he passed this zone but this is the moment where they'll start to get slowly back in the game because my team is uh, pretty dispersed around the map, moved, displaced and move around and uh, as you can see we kind of struggle in winning uh, the fights as especially if we get caught as this happens uh, but we're still doing fine and we're still doing fine because we're going to eventually win but not because Cassiopeia is killing everyone so as I spoke about uh, this uh, Cassiopeia has 8-1 now she's the one that got fed she, Renekton also has 5-1 with gold from me and basically all the pressure comes on top of my head to actually try to return this game to the normal state they are 2.5k gold advantage as you can see here up above so my only chance here at this point is to try to get either my ADC or my Kyle online because uh, I have to somehow keep the game alive enough for Kyle to start scaling, okay? So you have a Kyle, you know, it's like a castle, it's a time bomb. The moment it explodes is the moment you win. I mean, scale, 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 and then you're going to win because Kyle is, can, is unkillable now. So, my job right now is to keep the Baron alive, is to keep Drakes in check, maybe uh, stop them from getting all the Drakes, and... We're going to try to defend all the barons as, as, as I spoke before and to get some one shots. But besides that, we're not we're not really interested in uh, fighting five versus five. We're interesting as you see, we're interested as in staying in this kind of spots. This is exactly what I was talking about. And to catch with a hook or a W something to catch someone that has no idea where you are they had no words around here in this zone there they may have an idea that we're around here but come on in all elos people just misposition even in higher elos, even worlds people misposition everywhere so here was the maybe our trap that as you can see failed spectacularly but now uh you're going to see this i, I want i want to showcase how awesome I dodged that, how awesome I dodged that. What is this lag? Okay. That was beautiful. If he caught me there, I maybe would have lost the fight. So, uh, what do we notice here? It's a fight that slowly starts to happen. Uh, I'm going to use my exhaust this fight on Kalista because she's the closest probably to me, if I recall correctly. So, I'm just gonna just gonna hit on me and now we're going to see a hook that goes nowhere but this is an important moment i use my exhaust on kalista later on because i catch their strongest opponent with a wq combo even though there's a herald that's charging up you can notice here the point where everything goes bad for them catching instantly their cassiope even though she ulted and then trash hooking their jungler 
allows us to come back into the game. And I'm going very aggressive here because I know I have exhaust. And as you can notice, that exhaust kept me alive for way longer than it should. So this is a moment where we turn the tide, even though they still have more gold than us. We, go, we generated gold for Ophelius and for me. And also, even though Kyle died, we got time to push. Uh, we got time to generate a free push towards the mid lane and to get some gold from the towers. Also, their Renekton uh, does this for some reason, not knowing, not knowing how instantly he can die. How instant he can die. Basically, he overestimated as many players do in many elo. So don't tell me that this is not happening in your elo. He's just probably massively tilted, as I am sometimes when I'm fed and I cannot do anything because my team dies, even though I get a kill. So basically what happened there, we just outplayed them in, uh, in the team fight where it was a 4 versus 4 that we should have probably lost. Actually, it's quite arguable. We shouldn't lose the team fight there. Because, why we shouldn't lose the team fight? Because 6 kills are on Renekton and 1 kill is on Kyle. And the score was 20 to 20 or something. So we had the 5 kill advantage because their fed top laner was here and the rest of their team, uh, the fed person that was in our team was me and I was there so we got more total gold if we removed the top laners from the equation so we had a better team fight opportunity if you think it in gold odds were towards us and my only job was to either exhaust their Cassiopeia or to kill her instantly and we went for the second option and the second job that I had after I killed Cassiopeia was to exhaust, to use the exhaust because I didn't use it on her. So I used it on Kalista and I'm going for, for it extremely aggressive. And that that is the fact that won our team fight. So you can scroll back, you can notice uh, there those micro moments. I believe they are extremely important for you to learn how to think in team fights as Talia main. Okay, so either get that crucial W that wins the game or don't. And here I go for uh, this right. I don't think I even noticed that. Uh, and I leave this alive because I'm pretty much sure that my team will go straight for a fight. And I'm pretty pissed that I left the camp up and I didn't do much there. But I'm certain I left the camp and I did not go back to clear it because I'm certain that there will be a fight starting up. And I'm going closer to it to see what's happening but trash just get caught. And at this point even if I ult... Okay, I ult here, what what would I do? Trace was already dead. The moment he the moment Blitzcrank used W, he was dead. And now I think well they might go for Barons. So at this point I try to position myself as such so that I might maybe I maybe generate a kill on someone unsuspecting. Now uh, here Cassiopeia tried to teleport and she got caught and she will die. And then there is some crucial mistake that's happening from there jungler now she goes over words over vision they probably think i'm going for this cassiopeia but actually i'm like staying here trying to uh stop the baron from happening because i know kyle is around i know i'm here and it's a two versus four because they caught cassiopeia here but we need to try to stop this baron because if they get baron they get a massive advantage usually baron stops the game and lose makes you lose the game so uh, the moment I I was here, I noticed that A, she teleported, B, they went towards Baron. So, okay, we go back to Baron, because they are certainly doing it now, even though we have no vision right now. So, what I do to actually stop them, I see this Kiana right here. I don't go into the vision, I don't go anywhere risking they see me. So, I think, well, maybe she's going a bad route. So, I position myself like this. I want you to see it from the other side. Okay, so I'm staying right there. And I do a W. She might have time to flash it. But in most elos, you don't see reaction times from them. And bam, instant one shot. And at this moment, they are actually forced to back off. And I'm going for the fight. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help that Kyle. But I didn't commit enough. And if I committed more, maybe I would have died. I don't, I'm certain that I don't uh, kill Renekton, I probably killed Kal uh, Kalista, or maybe not, depends on how I fare in that teamfight, but it's, it would have been way, way too risky for us to actually engage in a full fight there, we stopped Baron, that's, that's okay. Kyle got two items now, she starts to scale, so we start to actually come back in the game, 
but there will be another major problem and that is that my team gets caught and I get caught as well so while the gold is in favor in our favor now we still can lose heavily in a 5 versus 5 fight if they engage properly and you'll see why I got caught here it's exactly because of this I did not amount to much on them even though I have flash here and I'm flashing instantly I'm getting hooked by Blitzcrank as far as I recall and that was actually sick it was a very good hook and that hook actually changes the tide of the fight I actually played aggressive even though I kinda knew they were around because I was relying too much on flash and that was my mistake so I did not really did not expect to dodge that Blitzcrank hook after I flashed it even though it was obvious from any point of view that that's what's going to come it's very hard to predict when you don't have vision even though we kinda had vision it's hard especially with lower frames to do to dodge it I'm not apologizing though I know what I've done wrong I just followed the instinct to go for this blue buff as my team pinged and didn't uh, wasn't careful enough to actually think for them too uh, and got caught in the process uh, and that's not a problem if that's not a problem if we would win this but we're currently losing this fight hard because it's now a 5 versus 3 and it's going to turn soon into a 5 versus 1 uh, as you can see teamfight goes great here teamfight goes good actually and towards great but even though they are doing this and she's flashing and right, Hecarim just waits. And it's a good thing that he waits. Because later on we're going to be able to do much more than that. I believe if Hecarim engaged now we're going to lose Baron. But in this context we will not. And wait for the fight. Now, they are all low HP, right? I'm coming for this and I want you to see this. I know I have time to reach it, I know I have every ability up and also Hecarim has a vision where to put in the pit and here is the grand fight. Hecarim has ult, I have ult, I'm going for it inside and I'm going to leave it at full speed. We steal the Baron, we actually uh, get two kills while we die and it's very good from every single point of view and I want to showcase this team fight once more and one more time back okay so we waited Hecarim stood in that bush uh, Hecarim didn't engage and didn't die that's a good thing like as a jungler if you have smite you should try at all costs to actually take that uh, Baron if you know you don't have any chance to win the team fight so I'm ulting in instant W combo kill two then uh, fight that Renekton and try to kill him uh, use a in my stopwatch to actually do another E or Q before dying I think I had time to do a Q there and that was enough for us to get the Baron as you can see my itemization I'm going for Zonias right now because we actually need that item crucially to, to our survival it's crucial to our survival to have that and we're now starting to go towards the end of the game we're in the end game now we got Baron uh, we have the advantage now with the Baron buff and all we do it's a good fight all we do it's a good wq combo or a good kyle ult because we got at the point where kyle now can turn the tide of the game so i farm a little bit right here and uh, i go back to mid lane right here and i see that blitzcrank flashed and i expected this to happen honestly so uh, we do a nice combo here and the team fight starts like this uh, i will do it again play by play I just want you to see it how it went and by after this play we actually won the game so we're going we're going over it more than one time that's a sick trash hook again and I'm actually ulting and blocking my team doesn't matter Blitzcrank just dodges for no reason so what's happening here in this fight it's a very important fight that seals the game for us so I notice my team is around mid lane. When your team is around mid lane and they have a Blitzcrank, you should start going towards mid lane. Uh, ping them, and then after you get this, even you don't even get this, okay? This this was useless for me. So I moved immediately mid the moment I saw them all five grouped because I fully expected someone to mess up, and this is exactly what happens. This is a blitz play, by the way. This is a very good play. Flash, 
instant E, and then I throw the E up and W Q combo. I miss it. I still have my exhaust top, by the way. I miss W Q combo. And Hecarim pushed Kalista, and she pushed herself through my E. So that killed her instantly. Now, the next good thing that I should have done is to exhaust Cassiopeia or Renekton. I didn't do that. That's a major mistake that I've done. But we notice now a teleport that is coming. Uh, any moment now, right here. And that teleport and into Kyle ult nullified a ton of damage from their point. So Hecarim got so far ahead now that we actually won. Useless Kiana ult. Nothing good from their point of from the point of their jungler, and we won the fight. I want to check Cassiopeia's positioning for this fight, though. I mean, she started off well. She was in the back side of the fight. Uh, she got pushed. She got pushed towards this zone, and she got a very big fear on her head. She ulted. Kyle dodged the ult very good, and because we now have. 4 versus 4 versus 3 fight with our fed champions still strong uh, and their Cassiopeia dead we won the game by a large margin then you can see I'm ulting I'm trapping my team as I said before we're getting the kill and then we don't stop we just we try to push for the win as you can notice we're getting this tower we're getting the inhibitor and we try we try to actually finish here as to, towards the towards these towers and we're actually getting that flash on Kalista instant flash I still have exhaust very important and we get the kill on Kalista because she uh, mispositions very hard and they are all tilted at this point and I don't let my team to back off because I believe I can actually do something here and the moment that trash lands the trash hook lands I know it's over we follow those towers and we wait for the Renekton engage. I get hooked here. It doesn't matter because I got the Kyle heal and I got also Zonia. I exhaust instantly the Renekton and the game is over. Now this would have, wouldn't have been possible without trash plays I believe. Like this quick game ending and maybe one two hooks. But the pressure still stays on you because you cannot rely on your support all the time. And we won this because of some trash hooks. We won this because I was paying attention here and I did not die in output. I output a large amount of damage in that team fight, you can see by my score. And also, I dealt the most damage at the end of the game. So combine your support hooks and with your Ws and you're going to get a great game, especially if you have a scaling Kyle. We had the disadvantage most parts of the game. I kept the game alive as much as I could for the Kyle to come online and to do that thing that she just did here. That old long ult into full Hecarim uh, Conqueror damage into full Tulia combo it's enough for any team fight actually because even though your ADC dies if their Cassiopeia gets targeted by their by your jungler and your jungler is ulted the Kyle it's very hard to escape now if she had Zonias maybe she would have done more or if she had Flash she had no, neither of that but I believe uh, I believe we still would have won if, because I would lose the exhaust on her in the moment that I could uh, see an opportunity. Now, um, normally you should use that exhaust if you play like me in, in these fights on the most fed target as Cassiopeia is, or on the targets that actually try to kill you, because if you die then it's pointless if you are the most fed person in team. So this is a tutorial guys. This is how I carry with Talia, this is how I keep games alive, how I try to save Barons, we stole that Baron, I stopped that Baron, I went bot numerous times and got kills, I cleared vision with many vision words, I don't even know how many vision words I've put down, quite a lot, probably at least 3 or 4 if I recall, usually I try to average to 3 or 4 minimum per game, which is quite good for Diamond 1, uh, for Diamond 1 level player. So this is the game guys. And see you next time. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions for me for, or for my guides, please leave them in the comments below. Please join my Discord if you have any more questions that I don't answer here. For some reason, I usually answer everything. And see you next time, guys. Have a nice day, night, whatever you want. Goodbye.